guys. I'm Johnny. I'm a student here at Cal State San Bernardino. Here in the Biological Sciences building where students are constantly working on different types of experiments that involve things like virology, tissue culturing, genetics, and just a whole lot of bunch of science uh, projects. And I hear a couple of students are actually working on a couple of tissue culturing techniques in here. Um, really cool stuff. Let's actually go have a look. Okay, so here we are in one of our tissue culturing labs, where Lindsay's over here looking at something cool in the microscope. Let's have a look. What are you looking at, Lindsay? Oh, hey, Johnny. I'm actually just looking at some embroid bodies. Would you like to take a look? Sure. Wow, that's really cool. How'd you guys do this? Yeah, it is pretty cool. Josh is actually doing some right now. Do you want to take a look? Yeah. Hey, Josh. What are you working on? Oh, hey, Johnny. I actually have some mouse embryonic stem cells here. I trypsonized them so they're up in the suspension. And now we can proceed in the, with the hang drop technique. We are going to prepare the Petri dish by putting about 10 milliliters of PBS in it. This prevents the embryoid bodies from drying out. Make sure you coat the entire bottom of the dish. This can be difficult because the dish is hydrophobic, so take your time. So now that the dish is thoroughly coated, we can set it aside. We're now ready to begin placing drops of cells on the lid. We have our micropipetter set to 27 microliters. This is because of a calculation we already performed. Make sure you're using sterile pipette tips. If you think you touched the tip on anything, get rid of it. Better be safe than sorry. We will now drop the media and cell mixture. Before every few drops, shake the media to bring the mixture of cells back into it. We need to press the plunger to place the drops on the lid. Don't push past the first stop. Each of our lids are going to hold about 60 to 80 hanging drops. So now we're going to have to carefully and quickly flip this lid so that none of the drops run. Each one of these drops is going to have about a thousand cells in them. All these cells are going to aggregate down to the bottom of the drop to form the embryo bodies. We're going to awesome. incubate them for three days to allow them to do that. Okay. That was really cool, Josh. So what happens next? Well, actually, because this is an ongoing procedure, we already have some ready. I'll take these out, put them under the hood, and let Lindsay show you how to wash them down. Cool. Thanks, Josh. I'll be happy to show you what to do next. But first, let me sterilize them. First, remove the lid contain containing the hanging drops. And what I like to do is prop the lid on the bottom of the dish while I get 1.5 milliliters of DMEM. Next, 
carefully hold the plate at a roughly 30 degree angle and using a sterile pipette tip, gently but aggressively target and wash down the embryoid bodies. Notice that you will have to keep reusing the media that collects at the lip of the lid to wash down the rest of the embryoid bodies. You should also be able to see the embryoid bodies pooled at the bottom of the media or you should be able to see if any are left on the lid. Lastly, gather up the embryoid bodies and the media and place in a sterile 15 milliliter conical tube. Here, I got you a new cap. Oh, thanks, Johnny. So, what happens next? Well, actually, what we do now is we let the cells sit for three to five minutes to make sure they all settle at the bottom before we proceed with pouring or drawing out the excess liquid. And can you see them? They should be very visible once they get there. Okay. So. Now that it's been three to five minutes, the embryo bodies have settled down to the conical tube. Lindsay has removed the old media and added another 10 ml of new DMEM media. So take a look at what she's going to show us next. So next I'm going to add 10 ml of DMEM to the petri dish and then add the embryoid body plus the new 10 ml to the petri dish along with it. A total of 20 milliliters in the petri dish. Okay, so what's the next step? Well, now we're going to incubate them for two days, and which will allow them to grow and differentiate in suspension. So, because this is an ongoing experiment, Josh has already been incubating some embryo bodies for two days, and now he's looking at them under the microscope. You've got to take a look at these, Johnny. That's awesome. That's a sweet experiment. Hope you enjoyed the time in the lab. Free for you to come by anytime. We really enjoyed showing you our technique. Come back so we can show you more. Okay. Well, thanks, you guys. Wow. That was a really cool technique. Well, now that Josh and Lindsay have obtained the embryo bodies, they can harvest them for all different types of common cell culturing analysis, such as PCR, Western, immunocytochemistry, it's really cool stuff going on here. Well, I hope you enjoyed our stop by the uh, CSUSB Tissue Culturing Lab. Come back again sometime.